Hey guys, Heath Walker here and welcome to JS Oceanside Garage. We've got another great show for you today. We're actually gonna head across the Pacific back to down under to Australia where I'm from. And we're gonna meet up with one of our team riders, Julian Wilson. Julian was formerly from the Sunshine Coast, now resides in Newcastle there with his family. We're gonna go into Julian's garage and check out his quiver and get a little in depth from Julian on what he's riding and why he likes it. So check it out, we've got a great show ahead. We're here in Newcastle, my new home base. This is my garage down here in Newey. When I get my windows to play and do something, I can come down to the garage and pick my poison and go. Here we have the Monster 2020. This is my uh, world tour go-to contest board. Pretty hard to fault it. It's the kind of board for me that if the waves are good, three foot, three to six foot, uh, and, and it's quality, this is like my go-to contest board, go-to board if I want to kind of get the most out of a good wave session. But I think this board is the kind of board, especially like on the point breaks, it's like if the waves look fun, you don't even have to think about it, you just grab this thing and go. It's a lot flatter rocker than the Forget Me Not. Uh, it's a lot faster. It's a bit more forgiving, but it's still really refined, so it's precise and you put it in the right spot and it responds really well. Um, and you got a little bit of room for error. I go to this board, almost every time, snapper, bells, J-Bay. And then also when I get to Europe and surf the really good quality uh, beach breaks, I probably ride, I don't know, 60% of my heats on tour on this exact board. Here we have the Forget Me Not 2.0. This is a good quality wave board like Fiji and uh, J Bay and it's basically the the model that I grab when the waves are pumping and then in Hawaii this is mainly this is kind of my go-to board even even when the waves are three foot because there's so much power there but um, this board just has a lot more rocker uh, it's a little more tough a little more pulled in um, it's just refined for absorbing power and being able to harness it and attack waves that you've on other boards feel like you probably have to nurse it a little bit or be a little bit hesitant. This just puts you on the front foot and lets you kind of rip into some real waves. Forget me not would take up 95% of my quiver in Hawaii every year, Tahiti, Fiji when I was on tour. Yeah, this is definitely the go-to model for, for good waves. Raging Bull, super fun. I've had fun on it in soft, two foot shore break, right rip bowl, to like solid six foot, six to eight foot, big kind of lefts, um, and a few in between as well. But yeah, I don't know. I just, something, it's intriguing to me. It holds in really well when the, the waves have a lot of push, but then when there's no, no push, you can generate speed really easy with it as well. And it holds a nice line and it's a bit of a, bit of a quiver killer, I think this thing. If I was gonna take one board on a trip, this would be it. 
the waves are really good or mediocre. The OG fish, uh, twin fin, twin keel fin setup. It's my favourite twin fin I've, I've ever ridden personally. I've always shied away from twinnies just because I often want to ride them when the waves aren't, they're a bit softer and usually beach breaks. It's mostly what I'm surfing. I've found with this setup, I don't know if it's the fin setup, being able to go a bit shorter than, than even the Black Baron lengthwise, it just works really well. It works really good backside and frontside and I've had a handful of surfs on this one. I like to go no grip, maximum feel. This is the Air 17X. This is, for the last two years, been my go-to wave pool board. Keeps up with Slater's wave, which is really fast and down the line. Really enjoyed it in the pool. Gives me freedom to do or try whatever I want. Uh, the name came from my jersey number, which came from oh, nowhere, just like the number basically. Um, and then it, that's just the sign for air. It's my favourite airboard. Yeah, I feel like the, the hi-fi construction compensates the chlorine to get that, that feeling of a good PU board in the ocean. That's the beauty of the hi-fi construction, I think, once the mold, once it's right, it's right. If I haven't seen the ocean, I'd probably, this is probably the go-to board for me because I really like it on my forehand and backhand. It's probably my favourite board for doing airs. Okay guys, another great show there. Julian Wilson at home in living color. One of the key takeaways was his favorite airboard, right? The Air 17X, as you can see behind me. His favorite board that he loves to do airs on. Number two, his most heat wins was on the Monster, right? So the Monster's had many series and over the years, Julian has won his most. But if there's a one key takeaway in the favorite board, if there was only board he could choose, was the uh, Raging Bull and uh, you know, one of Julian's favorite, one of Oki's favorites, many's favorites. So that being said, great show there. Next up, we're gonna be looking into Ryan Callahan's garage and check out what he's riding as well. He had a great Australian leg, so that's gonna be exciting. All right guys, that's it for JS Garage here in Ocean Tide, California. Thanks for stopping by. We'll catch you guys soon, take care. Woo!